Xander Bricks, and today I'm going to be doing a review on the Lego Ninjago 2011 Skull Motorbike, set number 2259, one of the shorter set numbers. And yep, this is pretty much just a set for two th from 2011 that I got off of Bricklink. The original price was $15, you can see right there. But I actually got it for seven dollars, so I got a pretty good deal. It wasn't expensive at all. And here's just the box. Knock Jay down. Here's just the box. With sorry for the like the light the flicker, but you see like the box art and the back with the feet, the one feature, and the collectible nunchucks of lightning. So now we're going to get into the set. So we're going to take the minifigures out, or at least Jay, because we're going to take a look at him later. But you can see the Skull Motorbike is a pretty sleek and kind of stealthy vehicle. You can tell it would go really fast in like a battle or a high speed chase. And you can see how it has like the flames on the side, and then the Skull can symbol um, at the side as well. And you can see the skinny front wheel and the super large back wheel with like the nice bone cages holding it in. Nice bone cages holding it in. And then on the other side, it's pretty much identical except for one lever, which I'll show you what that does later. And you have like a lace button on there. And you have chop of the skeleton. We'll take a look at him later. Then you have like the one feature in this set. And I think this feature is like really cool. I'm gonna get my mini pick. And to do this feature, the person you want to have, you want to have them really close. And you just take this lever, I want to zoom out, and you just flick it real hard. And it just knocks them in to figure out. I love that feature. It's like so satisfying. So you just do that. Bam. Knocks them out. They're on the floor. The huge skull head in the front knocks them over. You can see how it has like the translucent red piece for the evil eye effect and that's just done using a chain and when you pull it, the chain reacts when you pull it hard enough, it hits the front. So even that's it pretty much for the motorbike itself. And now we're going to take a look at the minifigures. Okay, so now we're going to take a look at the minifigures and first up we have Jay. So he comes with a secondary weapon. Which is just a black sword, nothing special. Gonna get that out of the way. And the real weapon that he comes with is the nunchucks, the golden nunchucks of lightning. Gonna get him out of his hands real quick. You can see how they're on like this golden chain, and they have like the two handle pieces, and it's just all gold. It's fantastic. But then we get into Jay, and he has the lightning symbol with like the sash on him. He also has the dark blue belt, too. And then he has the hood with the clip at the back, the old style ninja hood. And if you take that off, you see his normal face. And then when you put it on, all you see is his eyes. Then you can turn it, and then you see Chopov. Now Chopov is the one skeleton that comes in this set. You see how he has the long bone axe with the bronze end. That, I think that's like the only time you see a bronze axe. But then he also comes with this hat. You can take that off to review more printing. Like the cracks on his head and his gray armor. As well as the sash or the belt that is gray. And then he just has the black legs and everything else. Now time for my thoughts on this set. Okay, so that is my official review on the Skull Motorbike set. So if you like what you see, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I gotta say, this set, for set, the $15 or $7 price range, it's actually pretty good. You have the nice feature, and, and I just like the whole set and how it has the collectible in it as well. So if you liked this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. As always, suggestions are hugely appreciated, and I'll see you later. This is Xander Bricks signing off.